never underestimate a child with autism. Now this morning I'm sharing the story of an amazing young lady who lives here in the Florida Keys. She is a true inspiration. Amanda was diagnosed with autism at the age of eight. She fell years behind her peers and was never given a good outlook by psychologists or doctors for her future. But despite all the odds against her, Amanda, she succeeded. She graduated from both high school and college with honors. She's recently been accepted into MIU to study graphic design. And graphic design has actually been a dream of hers since she was in the sixth grade. Amanda, it's such a pleasure having you on the show. Thanks. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> now, let's first start by talking about this cowboy hat, Amanda. I really like this. I might take it from you after yeah. the show. <laughs> Where did you get it? I got it in Wyoming in Jackson Hole. Mm -hmm. And it's right next to the hotel. Okay, wonderful. And now, Amanda, how does it feel to be done with both high school and Florida Keys Community College? I'm just like grateful to finish with the um, the classes and taking a like a little break. Mm -hmm. Taking a little break yeah. before you have to head to Miami for MIU. Yeah. Are you excited about this? Yeah, I'm really excited to head to like new classes in Miami. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now, do you have a roommate? Yeah, I have a roommate. Okay, so you're gonna have an apartment, or how is it gonna work? Um, probably stay in the apartment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're going to be studying graphic design, which it's been a dream of yours since the sixth grade. Yeah. So have you known that you've always wanted to do art since a young age, Amanda? Yeah, I always wanted to um, do art because I like it so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now all the pictures that our viewers can see, these were all created by you. Some of them are photographs. You have some paintings, some drawings. Mm -hmm. Tell me about one of them. What about this one right on the screen right now? Uh, um, this is um, a drawing I did in private art class. Mm -hmm. It is a drawing of crimson rosella, and it's done by pastel. By pastel, yeah. OK. And now, what do you prefer, drawing, painting, photography? Do you have a preference? Which one do you like better? See, I like drawing, but I also like doing photography, like taking pictures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you like taking pictures of? Oh, I like taking pictures like, um, say like animals or pretty sceneries, but I'm kind of not much good taking pictures of portraits. Oh, you don't like portraits? <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried portraits? Yeah, I've done portraits mm -hmm. um, for class. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you just, that's not your thing? No. <laughs> So animals are more your things. What about the ceramics that our viewers can see right now? Oh, um, ceramics, uh, um, they made from like um, clay into like um, raku. It's going to like a um, bisque and it makes a really cool crackle um, mm -hmm. sound to it. And it makes a cool crackle yeah. sound. Now could, could I take ceramics or will it be too hard for me? Is it hard for beginners? Um, it's not hard for beginners. Like it takes time, though, but you can also get help from mm -hmm. the teachers. Okay, that's yeah. good. I would need that probably. <laughs> okay, now Amanda, along with just graduating from high school and doing community college, you just got your permit. What's that like having your driver's permit? I always want a driver's permit. Mm -hmm. The test parts when like didn't pass, it takes like time and practice, mm -hmm. then suddenly um, I just passed it. You passed it? Yeah. So you're going to be driving soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very, very excited. And I know that you're going to be leaving soon, so I wish you nothing but the best on your journey for MIU. And you'll have to come back on the show and share some of the work that you've done at school. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody, I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages, so please stay with me. <laughs> 